Bonjour, hi, welcome to Beyond Micro. The stream where we learn, we have fun. So this is my my time that I share with you where like I build stuff where like I block the talk. <laughs> we have fun experimenting with technology um, and, and just experimenting. Today stream is we continue a game. So 2D6 dungeon. It's a it originally it's a dice and paper game that was created by Toby Lancaster. Hopefully I pronounce your name correctly. Uh, I bought the book, love it, and I would like to have like some kind of digital friend so I could play a bit more on the road uh, and like a bit maybe quiet, like quietly play because when you roll the dice, it's noisy if like kids are sleeping or something like that. Uh, so I decided, oh, you know what, it would be cool to do an uh, online version. So I will just bring this thing here and I will share my screen. Voila, boom. So we started working on that a few streams ago, uh, 2D6 Dungeon. So like, like I was saying, let's open this. So this is the original one, 2D6 Dungeon. Uh, there's now 2D6 Real. just received this yesterday with a little note from toby so super happy about this one this, this is real so like you have like a full map in each section there's dungeon i'm oversimplifying it here but that's kind of like the thing where should i put that now <laughs> no one and i also have dice so that'd be cool so i'm gonna so like it was a nice little let's go full screen again can, can you catch that like this yeah so 2d6 dungeon and like there's a two dice let's put those so when we draw on the map now we have like the x and the y the x and the y um there's the prime and secondary i don't know which which one if it's yellow or blue is the, the prime in my case i was using red and i forgot the second one and there's the kind of a brown one also so uh like one two three zero one two three so pretty cool that dice set so very happy to like just order it like i ordered that so i pay for this i'd say it was a kickstarter project I order it so let's go back now sharing my screen so and, and you can do those and, and like on paper so like like have the explanation and like as you play the game like you roll the dice and it set the dimension of the room and then you roll again to the definition it tells you what it is what kind of encounter you have and like that's what we try to mimic a little bit in our game we're not building a digital version of the game. It's a companion app. So like you still need the book rules and stuff to understand, but it's a companion app. So like there's a lot of things. And uh, so, yeah, so it's open source. Let me put the URL without the tab because we don't need the tab. Let's put this here. We'll also hide it in the show notes. So note this well, if you're interested to have a look right now it's not an easy way i would say to give it a try so if you're a developer you want to give it a try you'll probably find your way um but like if you're just like want to try it uh, right now it's it's not an easy way to try but soon we'll be working on that sorry for that uh so yeah and uh last stream last stream and, and i i use that to like experiment different technology like so we put the database in a container and, and like so i have like i created like different video explaining the details of, of those things um for fun uh okay so now last stream what we did was we had some issues with the events uh, and it was in kind of inconsistent. Sometimes it was working, sometimes it was not working the way we were expecting, or we were like falling in like infinite, infinite loop and stuff like that. So last stream, I kind of like spent two hours 
we build like a little you know a few buttons and like bunch of component uh nested uh, component to kind of like experiment how you bubble up an event and like how events are working and i had the big haha -ha moment <laughs> because it's a place where i learn and, and do stuff quickly and sometimes i rush a little bit so i don't go in and like i don't read all the fine prints i think or maybe it was obvious and i just missed it it's also possible so anyway i had a big haha -ha moment and uh we this cover also i had so I had in the game, there's dice set. It's a class that we create and it's could be one or two dice. And we also had a component to display the results. So we had two things with the same name. So we discovered that was a problem. So we did refactor the display as now dices. The class still stay dice set because I want to use this word in term of like logic because it's part of the vocabulary the word in the book and i'm trying to stay as close as i can of the words the vocabulary used in the book so like it you know it's it's the same i'm not reinventing the wheel so last time we did give it a try and we realized that with all that refactoring that cleanup that we did we broke a few things and uh, I can, uh, in fact, let's open the code right now and I can, let's, uh, we'll hit the, the bug and we'll be able to work on that. Uh, if I, like this. Let work. Okay. It's maybe below then. I don't see the um, this code extension for uh, let's do a reload. happening let's, let's close this and let's reopen it okay there it is now i have my solution explorer okay so now if i do f5 I should be able to start it so in the background before the stream, I started my database and my API. So they are both running in the containers and the game now starts. It's a Blazor uh, application I'm using for the visuals. I'm using Fluent UI Blazor. So that's, oops, sorry, that's the look you can see here. And when we start, uh, we should be able to say, uh, create a new adventure. Let's, let's go this way. And now we could create a new user. Let's go with Shirley dev, pick a weapon. So let's go greater ax, great ax, not greater. And, uh, then we can pick this two maneuver. So those are the type of attack you're doing. And then we'll pick, uh, is his armor and a magic scroll. I like the mental whip. TBD Gamer is raiding. Hello, my friend. Hello, friends of TBD Gamer. How are you? How was your stream? Bonjour. Hi. How are you <laughs> and now I have Shirley Dev saying hello. <laughs> Love it. That's so cool. Well, Welcome, Raiders! Welcome! How was... What did you work on the TBD? Great! Welcome, everybody. We're just getting started. So, uh, we I know last stream we did some refactoring and obviously we broke a few things here and there. So I just want to show kind of the, 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 the status of the current app. And very quickly, we'll see like some events are missing since we refactor the events. I had some stuff that 
I wasn't sure how it was working in last stream, like last stream, a few weeks ago because I was on vacation. We kind of like created like a smaller app just to play with events and but like nested component bubbling up events and stuff like that. And uh, I got it now. So start refactoring and time was flying. So we are we didn't finish everything. So now the app is broken. I was working on the liquid sky. What? Liquid Sky, so you're not working on your uh, management app anymore. So you're working in a game? I got my UI up. Oh, I need to catch up your, uh, your stream. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. Well, so here I'm just showing up a little bit the 2D6 dungeon app. Like I mentioned, it's broken. It will be broken like in a, in a few seconds. So we're creating a new event, a new adventure. So we're, we start first by creating a new adventure and we pick Shirley Dev um, and uh, like set up like the weapon, the manoeuvre, the armor pieces, the magic scroll. But because you start with those, there's also things like magic potion and things like that that are kind of like there's no selection so like i'm we're just by code adding it to the user so now if i save now i have my user here that button work yes oh yeah it's the the, the creature button that doesn't work so here we have and i i did learn also uh not while on vacation but i had another project uh at work and other people were working in uh like looking at how they were manipulating this Canva. This is a Canva here, and it's done with a lot of JavaScript. I'm just not sure, so I feel way more comfortable now to like um, interact with the, the Canva. So that also that will simplify things. So now what we need to do, the next step in the creating our game is to roll two dice to set up the lobby of the dungeon. So this is this will be our lobby. So we have three doors, a lobby, always have three doors plus the blue one is the uh, entrance so that's where we come in we get in the lobby it's an empty room usually and you will be able to pick a different door to do something and oh yeah it was red and purple so now i need to change the dice i was show, also showing yesterday i received so uh 2d6 expanded so now there's this book that was just released it's 2d6 realm it's a very big book and uh and now instead of just like being one dungeon you have a full map and you have different room and i also receive dices so i think i will also mimic oh, no. and a little note that i just dropped on the floor from toby and i receive dices so i receive so when we draw let me put it we put three and this this come on camera right so we'll be able to run that so i think i will apply the color so it kind of like match the official dice that would be cool uh we also had primary and secondary here it's it doesn't show very well this one is kind of yellow it's a good yellow not too yellow so it's hard to uh, to read but yeah so I will change the color instead of like being red and purple. I will use the uh, the dice color. And this one is a dice from zero to three. So uh, that's also cool. Brownish, like with like stripe or marbles. Marble stripe. Anyway, so we'll probably later change the color. That would be cool. I'm guessing we, we could have tons of different colors also, or just images. They are really bad images because i don't want to spend too much time on that but changing a color will be easy okay so now we have our lobby we can start the game voila so we have the different tab here we could pick a door this will be working cool so this is another great interface because i was like, i'm not sure i want to click on um the door 
on the map maybe i will be able to do that because like after that i will need to know where i click where like what door it is of what room i think that will be cooler but uh right now this is how we I, i'm doing it so if you have like different door and just go and say okay i want to go there uh like here you have the definition of the current room you just have the lobby so like i said it's the entrance of the dungeon it's empty uh, you have the adventurer so right now we just display very basic stuff that we had at the beginning planning to do uh, like the like character sheet like we have like in dungeon and dragon and stuff like following whatever was created in the game uh, we had other stuff that is empty for now and the combat that's broken right now and we need to fix it and that's what we start working because I need to create a new function called parent adventure to change but not create but like uh, map that so that's where we are so I can close this set the app so in the combat that was the screen we were and I can go full screen Go in my little corner. Voila. And feel free to ask any questions. If you have any questions, if you're curious, if you have suggestions for the next two hours, we'll be coding on that, making progress, hopefully, <laughs> and having fun. That's the, 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 the goal. Uh, you can always try also to drop here like this. <laughs> Try to land on the tar target. We have CB who's tracking our, our scores. Uh, our cloud bat CB. And uh, yeah, he's tracking who's having the best score. And today it's definitely not me. So here we have current adventure, adventure, current adventure change. Adventure. No, it should be in the in this. It should be creature. Yay! It should be this. Who landed? Fred out of cat land. Congrats with a score of seventy-eight. That's pretty good. There it is. That would make more sense. Creature picker. Yeah. Now we need this, so let's do a creature update. Creature updated. That will be our. Yeah, that will be our function. So I could go down. Can I just make it a little bit? Let's go here, add a function, private, void, boom, creature updated, that sounds, that sounds good, is it the only thing we needed, I think it is, if we do that, the creature will be updated, and I think it will update our UI, and I think, we'll solve our problem, another thing also, uh, I need to uh, apply some kind of standard and, uh, because right now I have parameters sometimes start TBD maybe you can tell me that so would you say the parameter names like the, the one that are public for a component they should start with a capital letter right I, I prefer that but I'm not sure. Okay, right now, like sometimes it's uppercase, sometimes it's lowercase, and I like I definitely want something standard. For example, this one, the parameter, it's player changed. That's an, an event callback, and it's capital P. But sometimes in other places, it's slower character, and I don't like that. So I need to uh, I need to standardize that. Interesting. We lost the other players. That's that's kind of new. Uh, 
of players. Weird. Okay, so let's create, let's use this. Oh yeah, with save game. I only have one save game. Multiple creator character, but only one save game. Okay, so if I go now in combat screen, I say this was the button that was not working before. So now let's say I want to fight a guard. Yes, it's working. Cool. Excellent. So now we have all that. All that nightmare <laughs> stuff. I should go in the other corner. Boom. Cool. So combat is good. The UI is, is not great right now. I know. I know. We'll, we'll need to find a way to make it <laughs> look better. But right now I'm, I'm working more on the functionalities and having some kind of visual so we know where we're going. So the idea here is to have like the, we can put this so it makes it a little bit prettier. So we have on one side, we have us and we can see like our manev here. Uh, we could see like information about this and like the magic scroll and the magic potion and things like that on the other side we have our enemy the creature we're fighting so right now we could see it's a guard level one it's a new manoid. we can see that uh, there's seven hp experience the sh is a particularity of the um the fight in this game is you could shift <clears throat> sorry i have like it's been too while, too long since I I I stream. My voice is not used to. Uh... Next week, I'm traveling to Halifax. Next week, for the DevOps Day, I'm I'm doing a keynote over there. Super excited! It will be my first keynote. So excited and a little bit stress between you and me. <laughs> oh, it's super fun though. Like I have a good presentation where I talk with different uh, tools and things and uh, the. Uh, the title of my talk is don't let ai tool do all the work for you so you, need, need, you still need to be involved so here we have this so interrupt uh, we have the manoeuvre also and uh, like some uh, information like information description about this and i i on purpose like how can i i on purpose follow even if it it's not pretty right now i on purpose follow what's the how the game display the information so like uh, there's creature cards and i'm trying to like show it as the card is showing it so like you have the name like uh, obviously like the image will will change based on the monster the creature you're fighting but right now you just use one to make it simple for me and I have to grab the description here in like prime attack and in the smash mishap attack. So uh yeah, so when and in, in the middle, those are information. And uh I was a lot of events also. So let's say I want to attack. So I will roll the dice. So now I have a three and a two. So in my attack, oh see. Three and two match. Oops, I'm hiding it. Uh, super help eight. Voila. So I have a three and a two. And if I go here, three and two is a hack. And it's a 3d6, a d6 damage. I have two shift. So let's say I would like instead to do like a weight charge to have a plus three in my damage i could decide to change and go one down one down and be one two now my damage will be this so those are the shift and it's the amount of time you could switch the dice that was also a pretty cool logic to uh, to apply so now that i decided this was my attack. I need to find a way now. Sh 
should, should I detect that this is matching that and kind of like having a little button say, okay, I'm attacking. Should I just like, so cool, like I'm having it. Uh, and I don't, I, I'm not sure what should I do now? Because I want, I want to deplete this information. Hey, <laughs> Bill Samuel is here. Boop, boop. Hello and that. <laughs> Hello and that. Hello, how are you? How was your week? For me, it was an exciting week after two weeks of time off. First week, it was just you last today reading, cleaning up your index box, and after that, you know. Shield blocks. The L is big. What? Where did you see that? On the right? So in the guard information, oh, interrupt. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like it's totally a typo. Good, good catch. Okay. Oh, yeah. So interrupt. That's also a thing. So yeah, I mean, I think when I roll and that's the thing. I need to double check with the rules or maybe even ask Toby because I'm not sure how it was intended. So interrupt. So when I have a tree here, the shield block. So I think it's at the end when like whatever I use. So right now trees, like I don't have any trees and initially it was, it was like this. So pre it's not on my secondary dice. It's on my primary dice. So I don't think I, the guard, uh, interrupt my, my, uh, my things, but if I roll a double one or double six, maybe I should have like, Hey, boom, like, Look at this. And right now I'm, I'm wondering like, how do I deplete the hit point, the health point? Should, should I have like, hey, this is matching this and doing some highlight and adding a button. It's okay. Attack. But at some point, Also, like you could be throwing a potion or something like that, or a magic scroll. Like here, like I could decide I want to do my magic scroll, but I don't have anything. But maybe I need a button also to say, okay, I'm using this, then I need to read that. So I think maybe what I will do is I will have like hit point text box and a button. Because like I said, I don't want, like, it still need to be kind of like pen and paper feel. So I, like, I don't want everything to be, uh, but like, yeah, I could have this. So if I have the text box, text box hit point. Right now, I definitely don't manage the magic scroll. So let's, let's ignore that one. So I could detect that this is matching that. Yeah, but I mean, so we'll have to do like, oh, maybe it's a damage point. How do I, like, I'm not sure how to do that. Interesting, I lost my, uh, 
cool 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 okay we're back excellent okay so um yeah we were in the ui and i'm not sure blah 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 uh one thing while i, I was missing what i did missing power what i did is uh i implemented uh or start implementing a new button to reset the dice i felt like sometime you start moving things like yeah two hours and i want to reset the die so i'm not sure i did it completely Yay! so who landed oh it's noisy in the screen so fred out a cat landed with a score of 33 Yay! oh it's this this i love i love that um streamer rodix streamer x but uh Unfortunately, there's no, like, it's just color. It's super hard to remember with what. Okay, so I added a new button called Reset Dice. The action is Reset Dices. The action here will just, oh, I had it also when I initialized. Now I have like original dice. So now I reset that. If it's not present, I'll put zero. Uh, I put the shift to the original value. Yeah. And uh, I had the action. The action is not tracked though. So action changed. So maybe in the so that's in the combat console so i'm assuming so here i should have action change here so i'm assuming in the combat screen oh, here combat i'm assuming that console yeah i didn't implement the uh something actions okay so i'm assuming here action now I need to do action changed, right? And implement that. I'm assuming it's that. Cool. So now let's give it a try. And after that, we need, we need we need to take a decision about how we want to really implement this stuff. So let's go with this game. Go with the combat screen. Let's go with a guard. Let's minimize this. So now I have like reset dice and end turn. Reset dice though, it's not great. We'll have to pick another button. Um, so now there's nothing in the journal. If I do roll, roll one and sign, one and five. Okay, and now if I do reset dice, nothing happened. Because I forgot to bubble up. I will need to bubble up all, all events, right? That's the thing I forgot to do. So here, I, I I invoke the action, but I will have to invoke the shift change. Thank you. 
That's interesting. I do mostly the same thing as Nyx. But the counter doesn't change. Or maybe because I need to do this. Primary shift dice. So I need also to do that. Right. Let's stop this and here all I need to do the this. When I roll a dice, dice set, uh, I will need to I think it's I think it will be good with that. So let's try again. Combat screen, let's go with the tug this this time. Oh ah, I was about to land. Okay, cool. Let's minimize this. Okay, so roll three and five. So let's try to do this one so I can do ding ding. Oh, it won't work. What? Oh. What? Oh. The events are broken for the, this. I'll have to fix that. Okay, then let's say I want to reset. The cryptographer land with a score of 75. Congrats. So if I reset dice, 3 5. 2 left. Cool. But the event. I've been broken. Well, like, we know what it is. Okay, so let's fix this. And after that, so if I do roll, if I do this, get this go up, this go up, this go up. So now at four, this go one, this go two, this go three, and should stop there. And turn is written here. Cool. So that still work. It's just the uh, implementation of the events for like the shift are broken. See, like this should be disabled. So 
events are not bubbling up correctly. Oh, well, we can fix that. We can fix that. Cool. So... Uh, it's not in Creature Picker. I think we fixed that correctly. I think I think I want to push that just to kind of like have a better understanding. So let's push that, saying that the reset dice and Creature are fixed, and then we'll work on the. Uh, Dice shift, dice shift, shift events. So here I am. It's a little bit big. And I have come back. Boom. Play. Okay, we'll change this. Make sure it. So let's do. Um, Okay, we'll do this. Boom. So we have that. And now I want to work on the. Uh, dice shift. So in combat. Like it's all in the console, so I don't have to go come back. Right? Yeah. So come back console. See, I have the value, but I don't have the callback. So we'll have to have those callbacks. So let's go shift buttons, shift buttons. Bonjour. Hi. Bonjour. Hi, Fragbird. How are you? No way! <laughs> Sir Surly Butt implemented uh, a message for you. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, good luck. Let's try to land. I didn't land either today, so we're like, you know. And I lost power earlier. So I kind of like lost all the viewers that were there. So I'm guessing it's just you and I now. <laughs> I'm well. Cool. Any bike trip plan? Oh, finally, 46. Woo, I don't know how many times I tried today. <laughs> Frankie. Jeez. Yeah. So. I will try to do a little bit of a... Uh, bike this weekend i think i'm not sure i'm a bit stressed because i have a presentation like i'm i'm stressed and excited i am more and more more to get closer i think the more i get excited now because i know i'm prepared but i have a keynote i'm i'm doing a keynote at the devops day in alifax next week and um i felt unprepared just before my vacation i was like okay when i come back i will do this like every day and like i spend a few days this week, like reviewing my slides, doing the presentation. Now I know I want to change today a few 
slides order and like maybe had one with a little bit more uh, detail because otherwise I feel like I'm speaking too long on the same slide. But yeah. 80 kilometers. Ugh. Next weekend. That's a lot of kilometers. I went on vacation in Italy and it was hot. It was really, really hot for me. Uh, place amazing, people fantastic, food and wine and everything. Obviously, it's Italy. It was great. But uh, like I was having a lot of rash. So I wonder if like I, I have an allergy to my own sweat or something. So I, I'm like, I'm scared now to go outside and like sweat a lot. It's getting better, but like, I don't want any trouble, like big rash when I'm doing my presentation next week. I'm kind of like, should I go outside? Should I not go outside? And today it's pretty warm. though it's like big sun, no wind. It's not that hot today. Will it get hotter? Yeah, it will get, it will get pretty hot. But uh, anyway, I don't know. And also, like, not doing anything for two weeks. You lose your... Fragbert, you're leading the game today. Yeah. No, 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 that's not... So much effect at the same time. How do I remove that? That was awesome! Fragbert. <laughs> no, I love that. Sorry, Dev had like so much stuff, like when you logged in, when you land, a bunch of stuff. I love it. <laughs> I could be surprised. You know what? You should leave everything there. Just pick your bike, go buy a lottery ticket. You should, like, right away. Just like leave, leave the leave the stream. I'm fine with it. Just go buy a lottery ticket. I'm sure you will win something. <laughs> it's a good score, 89. That's a really good score. Okay, so parameter roll value, shift value, shift left. And add dice shift. So I think all the logic inside should be good. But here, dice shift. No, I have the function. Secondary dice shift. So when the dice shift here, it was a direction, but for me, there's no direction. It's a, it's a reset. Oh, wait a second. It was not good. All right limit were not applied correctly. Or was it just before the... Do I need to roll this get shift left value? No, because shift left, I'm assigning the value. And 
shift left by it's the value pass here what yes it's the same that makes sense primary dice primary shift dice primary dice primary shift dice can i do that like yeah should let's put a break point we'll see shift shift maybe i should do the shift before feel like everything is okay. Okay, let's roll again. Try to uh, understand. I feel like I shouldn't even try to uh, to drop again. Hi, bird. So, like, I'll let you win. I should be in the thumbnail. Hi, bird. Winning. Okay. Load adventure. Sorry, dev. Go and combat. Go with a tug. So see all those buttons now. They should be disabled. But they are not. Is up disabled. False. Okay, uh, they should until I roll. So if I roll, now it's fine. There's two, so I could do one, two. Okay, now this is disabled, but like those should be disabled too. Oh, so an event is missing. need on parameter set or something like that that's the thing i'm missing no on parameter set update button status uh and i was just doing it if roll value equals z oh it's different than zero Okay. Let's let's add on here. So now and, and this is not updated. So that's in the turn console, right? I think. Okay, here. So, this. Shift left. This is not updated. Or it is. Right? When primary or secondary in the shift left was there, right? So if I go here and let's say primary, primary, shift left is updated secondary is also updated that means this 
function is wrong? Where is that function? Okay, let's give it a try. So let's say we roll. Let's skip this. Cool. So we roll one and six. Okay, let's enter. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. Let's see, the button are not resets. Interesting. So if I do man and turn, roll value is e it's equal to zero, so it should go over. Oh, but I didn't implement like a else. Right? If I go over, yeah, let's add this. Man, it's cool to work with some AI sometime, right? Just like, I want this. Just, yep. It's there for you. Okay, cool. Let's load adventure. This one. Come back. Let's go with an artisan. So it's all disabled, that's way better already. So now if I roll, I have one and two, I cannot go down. It's great, that works. Now if I do this, should here we should see one. Breakpoint. There wasn't any breakpoint. Okay, so. One parameter set. Oh, I had a breakpoint there. Did I? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have now uh, one here and one here. So let's let's keep that one. Oh, though I never set the value. Do I need to set the value? No, value is not here. I'm using the other one. Okay, so when I click, let's go down. I invoke dice shift. as my event. So in combat, must have a dive shift, right? Yes, dive shift event, primary and secondary. Excellent. So primary dive shift, let's put the breakpoint here. Secondary dive shift, let's put the breakpoint here. Oh, I had a breakpoint there. I already had breakpoint. Go there. We have tons of breakpoints. Let's go and turn. Just go past through everything. Okay, so now we have the status. 
two shift. Everything is locked down. Everything is cool. cool. So now roll. Update status. Let's skip that. Cool. So now this is good. So we have four and one. I cannot go down that set correctly. So now if I go, let's say down, or let's go up in the secondary. So go up. Yeah, go up. So shift up cool now let's go bing so now i'm secondary die shift the direction the direction is up cool pre-value is it was one one and now if i do shift if shift equal, okay. Yeah. So that's good. Now will be two. Action secondary die shift from one to two. Action change action to, okay. That's good. Now get shift value. Shift left is two, and it should be something else than two here. I made a mistake. If I go in, Okay, I think in the update, this is good. I don't want to break anymore there. On parameter set, no. Why am I breaking there? So, I feel like it should, but it's not. So now if I do one more, So going up, this is good. It's here, I wanna stop there. Cool, so if you go this, the value is zero. So shift left, I'm in combat console. Shift left is the variable I have here, the private. Now it's zero. And I'm passing it here. And it's there. So why it's not updated? And I do a state changed. not updating this how oh, I did state has changed all good all right so now see the button now should be all locked but they are not what am i missing it was working before so now i shouldn't be able to do that because now like it will all be screwed up Oh, 
Should we need to do this? Should we need to do that? One parameter set. Shift left. One parameter set. One parameter set. Update. And I never set. That's why. Update the button status. Cool. And I should do. So that's the thing also. So shift left here, it's I'm play like I'm playing with the real one. So I think I need to I think to need to do like this. And I've private lowercase. Now in the parameter set here, I do this. And on initialize, I think we could say equal zero. Yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, like it will be broken. I need to change my... Uh, because now in the console, it will be broken. What? It worked? Oh, it shouldn't be working. Like here. We need to put... Like it. Capital S. Load. Sorry, got bad. Uh, okay, so everything is blah blah. Roll six and four. Going down. Okay, that's good. So here I shouldn't. So right, so right now it's two. Shift left, it's zero. But yeah. Here I set it. So 
but why I didn't go here? To, uh, to do like a shifted value, shift left. Oh, wait, shift value, shift left. No, shift left. That's what, yeah, shift left. Okay, so two. I pass two. Why do I pass two? Oh, this is waiting. Where did that two come from? Here, this I don't care anymore. Here I won't. Here I don't care anymore. Let's just pause when. Yeah. Wait a second. One parameter set the pencil. Maybe that's why, because that's when I initialize that, but it shouldn't be run. Is it because of that? Let's check again. So let's go next turn. So now I set it to two. That's great. So now I'm here. It's two. Great. For the other one. Okay. Great. So they are all disabled. Makes sense. Now I roll. So it should still be two. I'm in the this. Why this event was triggered, I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe here I could check. So I'm assuming it's because the parameter. I'm, I'm where? I was in console. What 
what's the parameter that was set? Like console have shift. And list of action. Oh, a list of action change. So maybe I could skip it. Yeah, maybe I could skip it. There's no reason. To touch that after, I think. Right. Uh, don't think here it's just when shift equals zero that I want to do this. So I'm guessing I could do something like this. Right? So we'll skip a few uh, events. Okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll have some fun. Come on. Load this game. This guy. Roll. So three, three. disable when I was the wrong one. Damn it. Let's hit left. Like we need to uh AI you're not always right. That's fine. That's, that's why we know we still have hope for to keep our job. Okay, load this game, combat, dug, roll dice. Cool. Now if I go this, I have one left, and this is disabled. Cool. If I let's go crazy. If I go up, I have two. If I go down, down. Let's see, everything should be disabled now. But where uh, can I? Yeah. Also not us. Ah. Interesting. So my math is, oh, that's cool. Minus one left, two left. What? Reset the dice. Good, enter, roll. One, two. So it's skipping the zero. So I need to find a way to, uh... okay. And like, so it's in the my super mats. My super mats. Shift, I think. The get shift left function. Oh, is it here? Yeah. 
funny. But I think it's only working if I go down, not if I go up. So if I reset the dice, uh, if I go down and down, okay, let's explode this wonderful function here. Let's do a var. Uh, primary movement let's do Primary dice movement. Second, secondary dice movement. So I'll say far. Movement left. What's this? Right? And now we could do, yeah. So let's have a look. Load this command. This okay, so we don't need that anymore. Cool. Okay, so we roll five five. Excellent. Five five. So now if I go down one. That's one that's supposed to be zero. So move left is one. Shift was two minus one minus zero. Great, so that works. So now if you go one more. So this is two, this is zero, come on. Left, zero. Excellent, zero. So shift left, this is one. Now it should be zero, yes. And now here, should That's supposed two. Why two should be zero? Why two? Thank you. 
gonna send two. Shift button. Okay. And turn. So now it's set to two. Great. Okay. So now I roll. And I'm in shift. So I set it again, one parameter set of this. Oh, uh, because I changed the roll value, I could have conditional to check if those are different, then apply. Maybe that's the problem. And it bubble up again. Okay, so if If they are different, do something, otherwise just like not bother. I'm assuming so like I have roll value, stiff value. And again, here this is Shit. What? This is a typo. <laughs> Should be shift. Let's change that. <laughs> oh, I'm the best. Shift. Okay. So shift and roll are also right now. In lowercase, it will need to be changed. The time is flying. Oh, I wish I could change that and next week we'll be able to work on. Oh no, next week it won't be any stream. I, I will be... Uh... Not effects. Take forever. Okay, roll. So let's go one down, one left. If I go, it's two, one down, would be zero. No, minus one. I don't see it. Okay, so you know what? Let's pause that. Where are we? Add combat stream. I think we could merge that and then I don't know. Oh, wait. Ah, so close. 
so close it was a good stream i'm so happy to to have done all that work today uh, i need to congratulate fragbird to lend today you're definitely uh in my um thumbnail i'll put something so <laughs> of the youtube video it's awesome uh very happy and let's do a save here whoops on keyboard save and then stop making whoops let's do it properly excellent oh, i will be fun also i need to merge those two video after the power last anyway so next week i won't have any streams because i will be traveling uh or we'll find a way how to like uh do that would it be a weekend maybe not i'll probably have family stuff uh i'll see you soon I'll probably be lurking in other streams. So have fun. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your week. And see you next time. Bye, everybody.